We're continuing our series on career options today. Each week, I've been asking people from different professions to describe their field or job a little. Today, I'm talking to Dr. Julian Tate, an anthropologist. Dr. Tate, I'm wondering if we can begin with an explanation or definition of anthropology. I'm not sure everyone knows exactly what it is. Well, I'm not sure I know. Uh, don't worry, this is a question I'm asked a lot. Basically, anthropology is the study of humans, and uh, that means humans now, in the present, or at any time in the past. So really, it's a pretty broad field. I'll say that does seem broad. Yes, but the field is typically divided into four different areas of study. Uh, one is cultural anthropology. This is a study of ways of life, traditions, customs, etc., of different groups of people. I think that's probably what I imagined anthropology to be about. Yes, but as I mentioned, there are other areas. There is also physical or biological anthropology, which looks at human origins, genetics, and biological variation. Then another area is archaeology. Oh, archaeology is considered part of anthropology? Yes, it generally is. It's the study of humans in the past. So, well, if you think of it that way, you can see how it would fit in. Yes, I see. And what's the last area of focus? That's linguistic anthropology. As you can probably guess, this area focuses on language and, uh, of course, the relationship between language and culture. Hmm. So there really is quite a lot of range in there. Yes, there is. And what's your area of specialty? Well, I started out in cultural anthropology a long time ago. But then I actually moved into another subcategory in, in anthropology, music. I study early music in North America. Oh, really? Music is part of anthropology, too? Yes, if you think about it, music can be uh, an important part of people's everyday life, and it can be very much related to their culture. I actually think that the field of anthropology will continue to broaden and expand. Human life is so rich and varied that it seems logical that there will be more subcategories of study. Okay. Now, if one or more of our listeners think they might be interested in anthropology, what do you suggest they do? Well, my suggestion would be to check at the local college or university and see if they have an anthropology program and uh, see what the required classes are. As with any field of study, it's a good idea to take an introductory course to find out if you really are interested in the field. So I'd suggest that. Then I'd also suggest talking to anyone you can find who's in anthropology. And last question. Can you make a good living in anthropology? <laughs> good question. It depends on your specialty and what kind of job you get, but it's pretty unlikely that you'll get rich. However, it's a fascinating field, so that's why I'd recommend it. It's always interesting. <laughs>